Hey friends, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Meg and in today's video we're talking about the best travel gear for traveling with kids. I'm talking about the things that we just never forget to bring. These are items that I just think are really, really helpful and I think everybody should at least consider when you are packing to fly with kids. If that sounds like something that you are interested in, make sure you stick around, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future uploads and make sure to follow along on my social media channels where I do share every time we're traveling as a family, which is quite a bit. <laughs> so. Let's go ahead and get this started. So I have a couple of videos on top, this topic of flying with kids. I have two other videos. I will link them below and in the cards or whatever. And in the first video, I talked about air travel with kids and then I sort of did an updated video on that. I went into some detail on some of the things, the gear that we bring when we travel with our kids, but I didn't really spend a ton of time on that and I wanted to just share my absolute favorite things when traveling with kids. We have three kids, their ages are 11, eight, and three. And we've been traveling with our oldest since she was two months old. So we've got a decade of traveling with our kids under our belts. We go on multiple trips per year with them. But let's just get into the gear. I don't want to go on and on about this. The gear I'm gonna talk about today is mostly stuff that you will be flying with as your carry-ons. There's one or two items that you could definitely put in checked luggage. Now, I'm not gonna really go into the things like portable chargers and games and tablets and toys that you should bring on an airplane. But I will link some other must haves for us in those categories below. I'm the kind of person that just like really sticks with electronics because games and crayons and things stress me out because they can fly all over the place. Okay, so we're gonna first start with my actual carry on like backpack. Most of the time we're checking luggage with our kids. It's just kind of impossible to get through the airport with three kids, a stroller, a car seat backpack, and have rolling bags. There's too many moving parts to that, so we'll check our bags when we're with our kids. Let me just share with you, first of all, my favorite travel backpack. This goes under the seat, or you could put it in the overhead, but most of the time you're gonna be instructed to put this under the seat. This is an Amazon find, and I absolutely love it. It comes in multiple colors. This is the large size. I definitely recommend getting the large size. I bought multiple sizes of these. I think it's like a small, medium, large. I can't remember, but I remember the large size is what you want because it has a compartment in the back that fits a laptop. It's got like this little strap here that you can put your luggage through and it can like sit on your rolling luggage. It's got a compartment on the bottom with a wet bag so you can kind of put shoes in there. This is a really good like overnight, like if you're into backpacking and you need lots of compartments. And then, oh yeah, this is a waterproof part right here here that if you have something wet, you can put it in there. It's padded, it's really ergonomic. I can carry this on my back. It's got lots of straps. There's a place where you, if you wanted to plug in a portable charger in the inside and then charge your phone, there's a spot for your water bottle. It's just got everything. And this is such a great travel bag that I can put my stuff and my kids stuff in. And my husband has a backpack as well. I think he ca carries an LL Bean one and we are able to get our three kids stuff and our personal items in this backpack. Highly recommend it. Like I said, it's an Amazon find, multiple colors. It's just great. Love it so much. I want to mention this little belt bag that's also an Amazon find. So many things are on here are Amazon. Most of this is Amazon finds. And this little belt bag is great if you are the kind of person that just like you like to stuff everything in the stroller and just want a few essentials you can wear across your body or use it like a fanny pack, be all 90s chic. I loved this in Disney World for riding rides and then just keeping my big bag in the stroller. And I thought that would be a really good strategy for the airport if you're the kind of person that just like doesn't wanna carry a backpack, you've got like, issues with that or you just wanna stuff it in the stroller and carry something on your person, this is a really great item. So let's talk about car seats on the airplane. If you watched my most recent video on air travel with our kids, we have been traveling with a car seat for our youngest on the airplane and have him sit in it in his seat as a ticketed passenger. We've been doing this since he was two. He's just that kind of kid. You know that kid's personality. It's like you need to be able to strap that kid in, right? It's just a lot of stress. He's just best strapped in a car seat. He just, it's so good for him. He does so much better on the airplane. We've noticed a much 
easier travel time. So there's two car seats from Walmart. Um, they're both from the brand Costco. These are so lightweight. One is for forward facing and rear facing, and then one is for forward facing only, and it also converts into a booster, which at that point you don't really need to bring it, but like if you have a forward facing kid that's kind of tall, like got too tall for the other one, you would use this one. They're both super affordable. They're like 50 bucks. They're very cheap. We specifically use these for the plane. Like we don't have these in our cars. We leave these in a car seat backpack, which is my next item I want to share with you. So what we do is we stuff the car seat into this car collapsible car seat backpack. So it's a fabric backpack that collapses down and then you can stuff it in under the seat or in the overhead. My husband is the one who graciously carries it around the airport. It just makes life so much easier to have that car seat in a backpack and not dragging it through like the terminal. So when we get on the airplane, we can put the car seat in right where we need it and then he can sit on the airplane, be strapped in and all is well with that child. The only way that this is that where I think we're successful bringing that lightweight car seat on the plane is having that backpack. It is awesome. It's very, very lightweight. So that paired with the really lightweight car seat makes life a lot easier. Instead of having to bring our heavier car seats that we keep in our cars at home on the airplane. I will say we have gotten some looks from flight attendants and other their personnel like when we're bringing that car seat backpack through because it is rather large they'll be like so what what are you doing with that thing you just have to explain politely we're always polite about it like we're not like we've done this a million times this is a car seat our son is sitting in it in his seat and then this backpack collapses down and it's going to go under the seat in front of us and then it's fine. Lifesaver, we never travel without those with our toddler. Maybe another year he's gonna be in that because he's three. I think he's gonna need it another year. When he turns four, we'll probably just check the car seat. And I go into that in my other video and like my philosophy on that, on checking car seats. We have a family of five, so there's just a lot to finagle and as many things as we can do with like backpacks, that's easier. But if you don't, we used to have this car seat luggage strap that would strap onto our kid's car seat and strap onto a rolling bag and we could roll the car seat through the airport. If you only have one kid or you don't have a lot and you don't want to deal with a backpack, do the car, car seat luggage strap. That's another great alternative. We just have a lot of crap and a lot of kids. So we go, we go the backpack route. The next item is something I don't have in my hands. Probably a good idea that I didn't bring all of these personal documents with me to the studio and just left them at home. But it is a family passport holder. What I specifically really like about it is that it holds five passports in this one little foldable wallet thing. Love it so much. It's very, very convenient if you are doing any sort of international travel. You need your passports and it's a really great easy way to keep everybody's intact. Also, we use them when we cruise. Like when we do Disney cruises, we always bring our passports. It's just easier. So if you're looking for a good, for a good way to organize your passports as a family and you're doing international travel, I recommend this like getting like a family family passport holder. I have all of the passports in the little thing in birth order so I know exactly whose is who. Like I don't have to label, I just know like in birth order from my husband down to my youngest. Like that's it. It makes it so easy. Um, I can't believe I waited so long to get one of those but I digress, it's great. If you are looking for some good headphones for your kids, I know these are really great ones. I got these off of Amazon. They come in different colors. These are for my middle child. My middle and my youngest have very similar ones. They're great, they're comfy. Like you have younger kids and you just need a good cheap pair of headphones, these are great. Always bring headphones for your kids. Nothing is worse than having to listen to a kid's annoying like videos on their a tablet on an airplane. I've seen on a lot of flights lately where flights attendants have really been pushing headphones. They really just don't want people on devices disturbing others and I think that's great. So don't forget the headphones. They're always in the carry-on. This is something that I want to mention that has been a recent thing that I'm like why haven't I done this sooner is I've started bringing refillable water bottles in my carry-on. No, nothing's in it. I actually did just learn this though looking at the TSA page. I thought this was like such an amazing hack. Whoever runs the TSA Instagram is hilarious. By the way. So they put where you can put 
ice in your water bottle and bring it through. You just can't put water, I guess, because ice is solid and <laughs> water's not, but I'm gonna try that next time. The last couple trips we've done, we've brought our refillable water bottles on for myself and my kids because my kids tend to get so incredibly thirsty. I'm super thirsty. We fill these up. There's a ton of refillable water bottle stations in airports where we just fill these up. You go ask for, for ice from somebody, get a nice cold drink, leave it in your bag. And it is so important to get a refillable water bottle that is not going to spill or leak. And these are amazing. These are from the brand Owala. This one's from Amazon. They're also at Target. And what I really love about it is A, it's leak proof. These have never leaked. I have this and my kids have them in their backpacks for school every day. My youngest has the toddler version and my girls have this size in like different colors. And what's great about it is it has like a straw in it so you can kind of sip it like this or you can chug it like this and there's a straw. It's easily cleanable. Like it stays clean. You have no water spilling in your backpack. So bringing a empty refillable water bottle has been a game changer. And I just think everybody needs to start doing that. Okay. So I love these reusable Ziploc bags just for like throwing things in my carry on. So like medicines, I always take in my carry on and keep with me. I get migraines. So I have to make sure that my migraine medicines in there. I have like not anti um, motion sickness stuff in there. I usually keep like some sort of, you know, headache medicine, kids, um, chewable ibuprofen in there. I don't do a lot of liquids. You can bring liquid medicine with you. You just have to show, bring it up, pull it out of your bag and show TSA. It can be over the three ounces mark because it's medicine. These little bags are great for little odds and ends that you want to put in your carry on. They're little plastic resealable bags from Ziploc. They're way more sturdy than just using a, you know, just like a little plastic bag. I also want to mention I'm TSA pre-check. We have been TSA pre-check for years. We'll never do it any other way. We don't typically pull our liquids out of our bags, but if you are not TSA pre-check and you're going to have to take your liquids out of your bags, you'll want a clear quart size bag for that. I have to mention these little travel size refillable toiletry bottles because they're so good. I've tried to find some like at Target and drugstores and nothing compares to these that I found on Amazon because they do not leak. These are the only ones that do not leak. I've had others leak so bad on me and these do not. They're not like a nice silicone material. They come in like a pack of four, I believe. I like to put my face cleanser in these or other things like I'll put the kids toiletries because I buy like big sizes of the kids stuff. So I'll just like reduce it. I don't even have this in my carry on most of the time if we're checking bags. I just like having condensed versions of my toiletries and these little um, toiletry bottles are amazing. This is another item I've had for over five years and I will never travel without them. I've mentioned this on another previous video and they are my space saver bags. They are amazing. These go in my luggage no matter if I'm carrying on. My husband and I just went to Mexico and we did only carry ons, you know, cause we don't have kids. We're like, let's just do carry ons. This is awesome. But the way I was able to do that was strictly through these amazing space saver bags. They're better than cat packing cubes because you can organize like the kids stuff the way that you want to with their clothes. And what you do is you zip it and then you just so you roll them and you compress all the air out of it. You don't need a vacuum pump. You, you know, nothing needed with these. You just roll them. We'll never not travel without always have them. One other thing, if you are traveling with checked luggage, if you are checking bags, which we do a lot with kids, it's just easier. We've lately started putting air tags in our luggage. I think that was one of the best things that we've started doing this year. There's been some like, you know, the airlines have been kind of sketchy with luggage lately since COVID we haven't Luckily, you know, knock on wood, haven't had any issues, but having the air tags with us, especially if we have to connect our flights, has been such a nice peace of mind, just knowing where our bags are and being able to point to that if we come into any, um, issues with our baggage. So if you don't have air tags, I will link them below. They're, you know, they're kind of pricey, but it's worth it knowing where your crap is. <laughs> and then the last thing I want to mention is just to make sure no matter how old or young your kids are is to have some wet wipes, baby wipes on you on the plane. You just never know what's going to happen. I don't care if a kid's a potty train, somebody's going to make a mess. Somebody's going to do something and you're going to need a baby wipe 1000%. Trust me. I never leave without having a stack of baby wipes in my bag. <laughs> 
ever. And like I mentioned, I also will have some things linked below of other things and essentials that we use on the plane and when we pack. I just thought that these items that I'm sharing with you are just like absolute must haves, essentials that we never leave the house without. I just really wanted to highlight those items for you in case you were kind of like, frazzled and you were trying to figure out what to do with packing and things like that. I didn't even touch on like the stroller and all that other stuff. You know, like everybody has their thing with their stroller, like what they want to do. Do your thing with your stroller or don't take a stroller. Anyway, I am done talking for today. I hope this video was super helpful for you in your packing adventures when packing to fly with your kids. If you have any other suggestions or if there's anything you want to leave in the comments, like some stuff that you absolutely love packing when you fly with your kids, please, please, please link it in the comments below because I want to know. I love anything that's going to make my life easier when I fly with my kids, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye!